Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. I wanted to show you guys my taco kit um, that I like to put together and I like to experiment with. Um, I bought every taco kit out there from every brand. Hard, soft, spicy, what I mean, whatever's out there, I bought it. And I wasn't happy because some things were either too salty or too bland um or both so i i said you know what instead of buying uh, these um these kits i'm going to start making my own and experimenting with different cheeses different taco shells different brands different sauces different uh seasoning mixes so i went ahead and did that so you guys obviously you already know where i went shopping uh when when you find a good thing stick to it it's not all about the money you guys just because i have uh someone buys um generic stuff doesn't always necessarily mean it's a money thing maybe they just like those products you guys i've bought products that were name brand that i really didn't like i, I ended up liking the the generic and vice versa you know i mean some things I liked in name brand, something that I liked in generic. So anyway, I like this. Um, I usually buy the Monterey and Colby, but they didn't have it. So I thought I'd try this Fiesta blend. And it's, it's pretty good, you guys. I mean, it's shredded Monterey Jack, cheddar, queso, quesadilla, and a Sadaro Dero cheese. I just butchered that big time. Sorry, guys. But anyway, um, I think that was like 208 I know this kit is a little bit more expensive than the boxed kit, you guys. But I'd rather be happy. I'd rather um, enjoy the taste of my food, even if I have to spend a little bit more. Okay. Now, these Great Value Taco Shells, you guys, I think I talked about them before. They come in this casing. And I've never had a broken shell, you guys, and I've been buying these for a while. I think they're like 98 cents, and they are delicious, they're flavorful, and they're not, um, they're not too salty. That's why I, I bought them, because I can't stand a product that is too salty. Um, they're just, the, the, the ingredients that they used is, is, the taste is well balanced. They're just really good, you guys. None of this is sponsored. This is from my own money. I craved a taco, so I thought I'm going to just buy my own ingredients, okay, and make my own kit. So anyway, you guys know the famous Taco Bell sauce. Um, to be honest with you guys, um, some of you might not notice a difference, but I have, I think the Taco Bell sauce that's in the packets from Taco Bell are a little bit better, but hey, you know, I can't keep running to Taco Bell every time I want sauce, so had to settle for the stuff in the store, but it's, it's pretty good, but not as good as the packets that you get from Taco Bell, okay, I think it was a dollar something, I don't remember you guys, and of course the, the shredded lettuce, you know, um, already cut for me, I don't have to do anything with it, and the McCormick, I love anything McCormick, you guys. They are a good company. I love I love their pepper, everything. Um, on a scale of 1 to 10, the heat level, you guys, mm, I give it a 3 or 4. I mean, it's not that bad, you guys. Um, I love this sauce because, like the shells, it's not that salty, okay? I can't stand a seasoning mix that has like too much salt as a base. So this is not too salty and it's just the right heat. Um, I just, I really like it. I think it's like 88 cents or something. So yeah, you guys try to make your own kit, try to explore, buy your own uh, different products and, and just be happy. I mean, you, you might spend a little bit more, but you're going to be happy. And this is what I'm happy with. I, I was not happy with those kits. I mean, just, I was not happy. So this is the um, this is the ground beef with the seasoning, with this right here. Just follow the directions. It requires three quarter cups of of water and then the seasoning mix. Um, I drain the fat, of course, but I add a little bit more water because I don't like my ground beef to be uh, dry. I just really don't. So, and what I do is I'll eat my tacos. I'll make like three or four of them and then I'll get sick of it and want something else. So I'll put this on my 
I'll, I'll make like a quesadillas. I'll make uh, chimichangas. I'll, I'll put this on top of spaghetti. Whatever. I mean, because I'll have leftovers, you guys. And this is my taco. I have to put the sauce cap because I don't want my toppings to fall. It's a pretty big taco, you guys. So I already ate one, and it's delicious. Okay, I just cut up some tomatoes and, and whatnot. So there you go, you guys. I hope you like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video, and enjoy.